What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Make sure you comment anything in the comment section. You know why. To enter your names for that $50. If you hate $50, don't comment. If you love $50, drop that like, drop that comment. Make sure you're subscribed. And by the way, one thing I want to say before we start this video is a lot of people were hitting me up like, man, I noticed my notifications weren't on for when you posted, so I missed your, I've been missing your live shows and I, I don't see your videos till late. Make sure you hit that little bell icon. It's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button on this, like scroll under the video right now. You'll see it. Make sure you turn that on so it lets you know when I post so you can be like on top of your game. All right? Greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad, man. The squ hey, we're 3-0. and Amazing way to start this year, man. We have smashed every single slate, and we are undefeated. Going for our fourth in a row here on this Sunday slate, 11 Gamer. It's another solid slate, man. I kind of, I really love when... I get to wake up early in the morning, study the slate, and be done by noon and just get ready to celebrate the money later. So let's go ahead and get straight into this, man. I'm going to post this as soon as I'm done, which will probably be around 9 p.m. Central around there. Um, and then you guys can go ahead and get this high five and get to study and all that good stuff. Hit up Greenlight DFS and get your money. All right. Drop a like down below. Let's get over 150 likes on this video down below. Appreciate you guys. Let's get straight into it. Now, starting off at pitcher, I'm going to start it off with Trevor Bauer. All right, Trevor Bauer is going against a Detroit team that has just been striking out a maximum amount, okay? Here's the lineup they ran yesterday against a right-handed pitcher, all right? Nico Goodrum, 32% strikeout rate. Shoop, 23.8. Miguel Cabrera is the only one under 20% strikeout rate. Cron, 22. Stewart, 24. Candelario, 24. Mabin, 28. Romine, 23. Jones, 28. Like, these guys strike out a ton. Okay? They strike out 27% of the time on average against righties. Bauer, look, we know his strikeout rate. He's an amazing strikeout guy. Strikes out over 24% of lefties, over 31% of righties. And that's a plus because this Detroit team against a righty just only played three lefties. Two of them were switch guys. One of them was a legit lefty. And Stewart. Outside of that, they're only going to have three lefties to run against him. Bauer's just in an amazing spot. I think he's going to just dominate. He's been doing a lot, doing like YouTube videos, doing a whole lot of talking on Twitter, all that stuff. I think he's pumped up. I think he's going to come out and uh, do his thing. So I'm excited for Trevor Bauer. I think he's going to show out. And he's at home, if that matters without fans, but whatever. Now, next up, man, hey, this, this right here, I feel... I'm happy about this. I love when I get a value pitcher. Kyle Freeland. Now, in no way am I saying Kyle Freeland is a, is a good pitcher because he's definitely not, okay? So don't take it that way. But he gets the privilege of going against a Texas squad. He is a lefty. He's going against a Texas squad where all the dangerous hitters you really are scared of are lefties. Shu, Santana, Gallo, Odor, Calhoun. All of their power in this offense are lefties. Okay, and now they're going against a lefty. And that's just a great situation for my boy Kyle Freeland because Freeland's actually got a solid K rate. Really, I mean, against lefties, 20, over 23% of the time versus lefties. He struggles a little bit versus righties, but all of the scary bats in this Texas lineup are lefties. So you don't have to worry as much about Chu, Santana, Gallo, Odor. Calhoun. That's five guys. These are all really solid bats in this lineup that you don't have to worry as much about. Okay. Chu strikes out 28% of the time versus lefties. Santana, 32. Gallo, 37. Odor, 30. So with that on top of Freeland actually striking out lefties at a decent rate, I think he's going to have a solid outing. And at 4-7, I mean, that's a steal to me. Obviously, I'm going to do more research and look at this even further because he, he does struggle a lot versus righties. But at this moment, I don't see, outside of Andrews, I don't see many guys in this lineup that scare me as right-handed bats. So I'm down to uh, take advantage of this, and I think Freeland is, is a solid, solid choice. He also has a really solid, he gives it up to righties, but he has a really solid ground ball rate at almost 50% of the time. The ball's hit on the ground. Okay, so at least he doesn't give up a whole bunch of fly balls where he's just giving up tons of home runs. And the guys who were worried about hitting home runs on Texas are lefties, have that negative lefty-lefty split. So 
I really like it. I think Freeland is going to be a solid, solid value on this slate. All right. Now, first bat I want to go with, I don't got to type him in. He's right there. Josh Bell. Josh Bell. Normally, I don't love spending up on these guys. You know me. I like to kind of, you know, save some money-ish, give you plenty of money. But because we have Kyle Freeland, we're able to get who we really want. Josh Bell's going against Dakota Hudson. He has gone six out of eight at bats, four doubles hitting a 750 average. Josh Bell is just an absolute monster versus righties, okay? Plain and simple. The dude's a beast. I'm about to give you his numbers right now, all right? Josh Bell against righties has a 315 ISO and a 409 WOBA. Absolute crazy numbers. With that on top of the fact that he has already shown that he has can dominate Hudson, I think he's in for a huge game, and I really love Josh Bell. He's a double-dong type of player, and I think he's going to have a great game here. I know I, I put him in la yesterday, but they still didn't up his price, and he got a home run exactly how I expected him to. I think he's going to do it again. Nelson Cruz at only 4-5. Now, obviously, it doesn't really matter if he's facing a lefty or a righty if he's this cheap. Okay, plain and simple. All right. Now, when if you take a look at his history versus Lopez, he's four for nine with a home run, two base hits, a double, 444 average, solid numbers, right? And then you look at his numbers in general against right handed pitching, and they're solid as well. Okay, obviously, he's great versus lefties, right? But Cruz also hits, don't get it twisted. Okay, he also hits very, very well versus righties. Okay, Nelson Cruz has ridiculous numbers for either side. 276 ISO, 402 Woba versus righties. He's a solid batter either way, and he's part of a solid offense on this slate. I think the Minnesota offense is a solid offense to target on this slate. I think a lot of these guys are going to be very good choices. So I think Cruz is just a part of an offense that's going to be getting around the bases. And at 4-5, he's just too cheap. He's got good history versus this guy. Everything lines up for Nelson Cruz to have another good game. And look, man, it is what it is. But look, they keep getting juicy-ass matchups. And I'm going to, of course, I have to take double-dong type of guys, J.D. Martinez. It's a broken record at this point. And, I mean, he's had an amazing start to the season. He's not a... Uh, he has not. He was not the main reason why they lost yesterday. It was upsetting that they lost to Baltimore, obviously, but it's not his fault. Okay, he's been playing very, very well. Five thousand, so they've raised his price up a little bit. But he gets the privilege of going against Wade LeBlanc, who is guess, guess, guess what hand he pitches with? You can see it on the screen. Lefty, and you gotta play J.D. Martinez when he faces lefties, especially when they are bad lefties, okay? He is going against LeBlanc, who is not a good pitcher. In general, I've been playing a lot of these Boston guys solely off the fact that not only are these Baltimore starters bad, but their bullpen's bad. So whoever comes in next is going to be bad too. J.D. Martinez, you ready for this? 486 ISO. 549 Woba. Strikes out 18% of the time. Crazy numbers versus lefties. J.D. Martinez has double dong potential, and I honestly believe that it could turn out to be one of those situations where if you don't have J.D., you don't cash. J.D. might end up being extremely chalky, but I understand why. Okay, J.D. Martinez is an amazing spot. And that's it. We got Trevor Bauer, Kyle Freeland, Josh Bell, Nelson Cruz, J.D. Martinez, and it still leaves you over 4,000 remaining for each position. Obviously, as time goes on, there's going to be some value open up when lineups drop and stuff like that. We're going to have some cheap value. As always, at the catcher position is where I recommend that you save. So if you have a $2,000 catcher option, grab him. If you have a guy that's 2,500 or under, grab that catcher, especially if he's part of your favorite stack. Grab him. Don't overthink it. Spending up for catcher is not a way I normally will play, unless it's a Gary Sanchez or somebody who has superpower and can knock some home runs. Okay, Outside of that, you really just need a 2,000 guy who can get on base, and you'll be fine if you're able to get the stack that you need. All right? Um, over on FanDuel, I'm, you know how I feel over on FanDuel. Okay? I like going my favorite pitcher. It's either going to be Trevor Bauer straight up over on FanDuel, or I'll save and go Freeland and get all the bats that you want. Depends on how you want to play it. You can go either one of these two guys over on FanDuel. I'm fine with Freeland. I think he's going to have a solid performance. Trevor Bauer, I think he's going to smash. I'm leaning Bauer because I like to get the more safe upside guy, and that's Bauer. Okay, I think Bauer has a big game in this one. And uh, over on FanDuel, he's 100% in play. And the same bats, the same exact situation over there. 
Okay, I absolutely love these guys over there as well. And there's just no way that I'm going to overthink things. Okay, a lot of these plays when I'm doing my videos, a lot of these plays that I like over on DK are obviously player over playable over on FanDuel as well. It's the same type of situation, especially when you get one of these guys like under 3K, they're locked. You know what I mean? So overall, when it comes to my favorite stacks that I'll be playing on this slate, there's a lot of different solid options. Obviously, I'll have to do a little more research and I'll look more into it. I'm not going to get much exposure to the New York game because solely Corbin's a solid pitcher. And then on the other side, there's playing a bullpen game for New York. A lot of different guys are going to pitch there. And so it's just, I don't really love picking on the New York bullpen because they have a really good one. All right. Milwaukee bats are going to be good. Houston, again, is great. Houston's going to be expensive, though. Correa's a solid price. All that. Um, Philly has a great matchup against Jose Urena. Um, mainly Bryce Harper, who is an amazing choice here against a righty, obviously. Boston's once again one of my favorite stacks. A sneaky stack that I really, really love. I don't know how sneaky they're going to be by tomorrow. Cleveland going against Montgomery, facing the lefty. Uh, I think this Cleveland team's going to have a good go at him as well. All right? Now, you know what time it is. Let's go ahead and get to the home run predictions. These are the guys that I love the most to hit home runs. I'm going to give you about, let's say, 5 to 10. All right? I'm going to give you 5 to 10 guys that I think hit home runs. All right? So here we go. Let's start it off with Nelson Cruz because he got us one yesterday and we were 100% all over that. I think he gets it again, okay, to be completely honest with you. I think he gets another one, all right? Next up, another guy I want to do is Giancarlo Stanton. I just talked about how I don't want much exposure to it in, GP in cash games. I don't, and I don't want a ton in GPP, but Giancarlo Stanton is definitely a guy you can get. He's facing a lefty. Anytime he's facing a lefty, he's good to go. Him against Patrick Corbin, I think he'll get him one. Bryce Harper, lefty righty against Urena. I just talked about him a second ago. I really like him. Another Philly that I love, Jay Bruce. Old again. He didn't get us a home run last time, but he's an old dude, and I think he can get it. Max Kepler. Kepler's been playing lights out this year. I think Kepler, once again, is going to be a solid option as well. Let me see real quick. What was his price over here? Max Kepler's only 4-1, by the way, over here. He's 100% in play on DK. I absolutely love him. Uh... I'm going to add a few more. Kyle Schwarber, I think, gets his home run today. And then last but not least, J.D. Martinez. I cannot leave my boy J.D. out. He is going to get him one. I really, really love him, man. And that's it. We got Kyle Schwarber, J.D. Martinez, Max Kepler, Jay Bruce, Bryce Harper, Stanton, and Nelson Cruz are the dinger calls. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. Before you head out, drop that like down below. Comment anything to enter your name into that $50 giveaway and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification so it lets you know when I go live and stuff like that. Live shows will be back Monday. But until then, let's get that money. Greenlightdfs.com. Peace.